everyone excuse me if I look like a bit of a drowned rat I've just gone for a lovely refreshing swim off uh, a beach in Koh Tao absolutely beautiful and now we are underway we are heading to the National Park here we have about a 25 mile passage today and it is going to be an upwind passage because that's apparently what we do these days I don't think we've had a downwind passage yet <sighs> hopefully next time so come sailing with us and I hope you guys enjoy the ride I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. Stop, 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 come down. There you go. Do you want me to release the chopping lift? Do you want me to put the jib out? Well, this isn't much fun. All right, let's see what speed we get without the engines on. Right, we don't even have a point of sale, babe. Oh man, some days you just, you're not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. It is grey. The true wind speed is actually not that high. It's only about 14 knots, but there's still some chop. And most importantly, we don't have a point of sale for the national park. So it's a choice between either motor sailing, slamming into chop for four hours or we go to Koh Panyan, our favourite <laughs> because that is a much better point of sale and it's so lovely. I don't know, it feels like an admission of failure. What do you think Nick? It's a beautiful anchorage we're meant to be going to. I literally don't see the point in like punching through it and burning diesel for five hours to get to a place that we don't, we can just try and find another time or not. Like literally, it's not an admission of failure. I heard what you just said. It's like, a, it's not an admission of failure at all, Therese. It's just us actually saying, this is uncomfortable. We don't need to go there. There's another port we can go to that is very pleasant. And we'll just do that for tonight. You think that you put so much on yourself about, oh, we have to do this. We have to go to this part. I don't want, like, to stick to a plan. But actually comment down below Sailing is exactly about not sticking to the car. That's the whole point about sailing. You're like, this isn't working, we're gonna try something else. This isn't working, we're gonna try something else, yeah? That's it. Yes? So what are we going? We're going to Cape Banyan. Did you want to try the screecher? Yes, let's try the screecher, can we? Yes. That is so much better. Why didn't we do that to begin with? <laughs> and we got the screecher out. Oh, that is so exciting. Anyone who has seen our previous episodes will know that this screecher has been a drama. It has been such a massive pain. The first time we tried to fly it, just the two of us, 
we got a wrap in the screecher, the um, lazy sheet got all tangled up in the actual sail as we're trying to furl it and because we had a blind spot that we weren't kind of totally familiar with we couldn't see it until it was too late and it we couldn't furl it we couldn't unfurl it we had to just drop the sail um, while we we're underway Nick and Jason were with us thankfully and then we had to actually furl it up again on deck try and furl it on deck and it was just this loose big baggy thing and then when we tried to hoist it somehow I don't know how we managed to get the halyard super twisted, like really, really twisted. And so every time we hoisted it, there would just be like five or six twists in the halyard near the top of the mast. So it was like impossible. So we gave up for ages. And then we were like, no, we've got to get this screecher sorted out because it's like such an amazing sail. As you can see, it's amazing. So in the end, uh, Nick and I, I can't even go through, like we just went through a long series of problem solving, troubleshooting, trying different things to try and untangle and un, um, untwist this halyard. Couldn't go at the mast to manually untwist it because we don't have a bosun's chair. That's one thing that was not put on the boat. And anyway, point being is that we finally got this damn thing raised again. And now we're flying it for the first time. Are you happy? Yep, if we get this filled without any I'll be super happy. You're right, baby, you stressed? No, 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 I'm a little bit apprehensive about furling it. I think we need to very... We'll be okay. We'll be alright this time. A clear approach to what we're doing. That's right. All we need now is a pot of dolphins. I don't even know if they have dolphins in Thailand. Nick just put this through the window for me. What a turnaround. <laughs> between 8.2 and 9 knots with 14 knots apparent we have 14 knots true as well 70 apparent batting along boats comfortable we're comfortable and I think this just proves that if we don't have to do shit in sailing we don't do shit in sailing yeah told Nick to go and have a little sit down on the foredeck because it's so lovely and peaceful and quiet. It's like so much quieter than the cockpit. The cockpit is really loud and uh, I think he's having a nice little time up there. Nick, do you have these two boats? We're the stand on Be patient. <laughs> That's what you're saying. I don't know if this works. I'm not Nick. 
I'm not going to reverse until we're actually in line with the wind, okay? Well, the anchor's going straight down. The chain's going straight down. I just don't know why we're not turning. Well, the boat needs to reverse a little bit. Just neutral. Snubber? Yeah, why not? A little bit backwards. I mean, we're not moving. Okay, can you put it into a little bit reverse now? I'm in reverse. We're not can moving. Can you give it just a bit more reverse? Yeah. Just like two, five seconds of like, yeah? Yeah. Now. All right. Neutral. I'm very confused. Because the wind's coming from there, why are we turning around? There's not that much current in here that it would hold us perpendicular to wind, I don't think. Are we set? Go forward and I will reverse. Okay, all right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Are we set or not? I don't think so. No, no, do I. Oh, wait, shit. What happened? Oh, the, we're set and the bloody um, bridle just snapped off the chain. The um, bridle snubber strap thing just snapped off. So we've got, wait, we're is set. it broken or just come off? I don't know, I can't tell because the bridle is now hanging in the water. Okay, stop. Oh my God, I thought the bloody anchor had just snapped. That's good. Piece of shit. What good is that if it snaps when there's any kind of pressure on it? Piece of shit, absolute piece of shit. What brand is that? Uh, Mantis. Mantis. So now you know what's been happening with our bridle snubber hook thing. Th that has broken several times now. Uh, well, that's the second one. We haven't got any more left now. Can you rig something up? You're gonna have to. Oh, this isn't just inconvenient. It's actually really dangerous. Five knots. And as you can see, this is about when we're anchoring, so like 22 knots. And then dropped about five knots. That was a bit of an exciting end to an otherwise very pleasant sail, following a change of plan. <laughs> Today, I woke up in Koh Tao and I said to Nick, okay, today's episode is going to be about us sailing from Koh Tao to the National Park. As soon as we left the anchorage, we set a course and we both looked at each other and Nick just said to me, what are we doing? I don't want to be beating into, it's about 18 knots apparent. We didn't have a point of sail. We just were motor sailing and it was gray and cloudy. There wasn't any sun and we were just like, this isn't fun. I kind of snapped at him and I said, well, this is the episode that we're making. We're making an episode about the National Park. So we have to go to the National Park because that's what we're doing today. That's what we're filming. And Nick just said, but why? I don't want to do that. I'm happy to go to the National Park, but I don't want to be doing it today when the weather is not ideal. So we changed our minds. We decided that we we're going to change course and come to Koh Panyan instead. I spent the entire sail just thinking about the difference between cruising as a content creator and cruising as someone who does something else for their work or someone who's retired, someone who can do whatever they want with their lives on the water. A lot of what we choose to do on a daily basis revolves around creating content and what episode are we going to make. What are we going to film this week? What are we going to film today? What do I need to film from the episode that I made last week that I haven't got enough B-roll for? Or what do I need to still kind of 
do for this episode that I'm working on right now. And then once I've hopefully gotten on top of that, it's what am I doing for the next video that we're making? And I try and make each episode different and new and exciting. And I want us to be doing different things in each episode because I want you guys to continue to be entertained by what we're doing. And that was kind of the motivation behind going to the National Park today because it's really lovely and it's very picturesque and I thought we could do some nice things and get some nice shots and you guys would enjoy coming along for the ride. I guess I just wanted to highlight that That must have been Nick. <laughs> Sometimes we need to embrace these moments where we don't want to do something, we want to do something else and embrace that change of plan. And today we ended up having a great sail and I just honestly, I could have like fallen asleep. I just was so relaxed and I just thought, sometimes I think, yeah, just got to take a step back and do the thing that you want to do. And if you can film it and make an episode out of it, great. And if you can't, then that's okay. And that's very hard for me to accept because I tend to put creating YouTube episodes before doing stuff for me. I, my priority is creating content for this channel all the time. That will always be my priority over doing something that I want to do just for myself. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that striking that balance for me is something that I'm trying to learn. Nick is already there and he tries to drag me along with him and say, look, we don't have to do that just because you want to make an episode out of it. We can just relax and do nothing or just relax and do something for yourself. But yeah, I find that hard, very hard to do. episode we are still going to be here we're not going anywhere we love it here so we're staying put subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and if you want to be notified when a new episode comes out then you're going to want to click that notification bell leave us a comment and we'll see you next week with a new episode bye